Okay, just wanted to make a quick video review of this NANCAT programmable DC power supply. Way too many uh, consonants and not enough vowels. Anyway, this thing I purchased because I'm going to start teaching myself more about electronics projects, and that's going to require me to build circuits that have very specific DC voltages. So I needed something that I can control that. Also, uh, the current protection is a desired feature as well. That way, if you accidentally short something out, the power supply turns itself off and saves your butt, hopefully. But let's just go over the general quality of this thing. The unit itself is fairly, fairly light for what it does. It's a switching power supply, so it's not a linear power supply like this thing that weighs, you know, quite a bit of weight because there's a giant transformer inside. You can kind of see the transformer inside this one. It's that yellow thing back in there. It's pretty small. Um, let's see here. The power cord that comes with it's only about three feet long. It's thin. It's at least 16 gauge, if not 18 gauge. But then again, the complete output of this thing is 150 watts max. So I'd trust that thing to light a 150 watt light bulb. So I don't need to replace that. The test leads it comes with had these crimped on spade connectors that wanted you to screw them behind here. That's pretty stupid. I feel sorry for the poor kid in China that's chained to a radiator that has to do this all day. So I'm going to snip those off and uh, glue or solder and glue, huh? solder banana plugs on the end of here. And then I'm also going to pull these apart and solder them onto here. They're crimped, which I'm sure is fine, but I like solder. And the little rubber coatings on here are pretty cheap feeling, so definitely not the top end of the world. Turn this thing on. It beeps. The cool thing is, is it remembers whatever you had it set at last. I had it set at 13.8 volts with one amp um, total output. And so this is just how you can set it to only output up to one amp. And when you click output, it goes into a different mode where it's showing you the current voltage. And then as you hook up a circuit here, you'll see what sort of amps you're drawing. And then it shows you your output in watts. Pretty cool. And then it's also got a USB charger. I guess you can charge your phone or you can, you know, a lot of people use these things to provide power for uh, like Arduino projects. So it has all kinds of uses. But for me, I'm going to be using it to hook up small circuits on breadboards as I learn. I'm also using it to fix and troubleshoot electronics that I'm working on. So this, oh, this review has already turned into like a three minute thing, but is this thing worth 60 bucks? I think so. Maybe not for everybody, but for what I need it for, it's going to be pretty handy. And uh, you could even hook this thing up to a CB radio, which is kind of cool. You can dial this up to five amps. And it will deliver five amps, I hope. So, anyway. I have not thrown this thing on the oscilloscope to see how dirty it is. I probably don't want to know since it's a switching power supply, but it'll be fine for every sort of project I'm needing to work on. I'm not doing, like, robotics or anything with, uh, you know, like, servos and pulse-controlled motors. But that's it. This thing's fairly small. Let me get my ruler. <laughs> The depth is about seven and a half inches. It's about six inches tall with the feet included. And the width is pretty small. It is three and a half inches wide, which is cool because this thing provides your power, but it doesn't take up a ton of space on your bench. So you still have space to work on whatever you're working on. But that's about it. I think it's nice. There's all kinds of settings in here I don't know how to uh, change yet. If you uh, go into the menu somehow, I forget how you have to push down buttons and stuff. You can change the brightness of the LEDs. You can make it not beep. So I'm going to do that pretty shortly here. And then, yeah. I think when it goes into protection... It stays in protection while it's shorted out, but as soon as you relieve the short, it'll start providing power again. So that's either a positive or a negative feature, depending on your needs. But 
That's all for now.